Today on our 2006 Jeep Commander, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 13414. Here's what the hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead, give you a couple measurements and helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately three inches. And from the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 19 inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. Now we've already gone ahead and lowered our spare tire out of the way and set it aside for now. First we're going to need to remove two push pin fasteners that hold the lower rear fascia in place. A large flathead screwdriver works great for doing this. We'll go ahead and pull the center of the push pin fastener out and then the rest of the fastener will come out after. Now let's go ahead and point out the four locations that we'll be using to bolt our hitch to the frame. Now to install our hitch, we'll actually be pushing the rear fascia outward or toward the rear of the vehicle to allow the hitch to slide up into place. The hitch will go up into place with the weld nuts facing the rear of the vehicle. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and take the bolts and run them into each of the weld nuts before you try to put it up on the vehicle to make sure there's no paint or anything else that may impede the bolt going into the threads easily. Now that we've checked to make sure all the threads are clean, now let's go ahead and show you how the rest of the hardware will be used to bolt the hitch on. We'll take a bolt with a conical tooth washer with the teeth facing towards the hitch for each location. Now on some vehicles, it'll require the use of these large flat washers to take up the excess space between the hitch and the vehicle's frame. In this case, we went ahead and just needed to use one washer at each location. The kit comes with enough if you would need to use two washers at each location. If you need to put these on, using some clear cellophane tape works great to help hold the washers in place while you're putting the hitch up. We'll pull outward on the rear bumper fascia and slide the hitch up into place. We'll then go ahead and take each of the bolts with the conical tooth washers on them and slide it into place. Once we have all four bolts in, we'll go ahead and tighten them down and then torque them to the manufacturer specification. Now with our hitch torqued down, we can go ahead and put the two plastic push pin fasteners back into place that we removed earlier. And finally, we can go ahead and put our spare tire back up into its place as well. And with that, that'll conclude our installation of the Kurt Hitch part number 13414 on our 2006 Jeep Commander.